with Brent Harvey of Michigan uh, at the USA Wrestling's state uh, clinic uh, for coaches here at the Olympic Training Center. Brent, let's talk a little bit about uh, why you came and the kind of things that, that you're learning here that's going to help you be a better coach and better leader back in Michigan. Well, um, the reason why I came here is I, I expect uh, my kids to train constantly. They're training. They're getting better. They're performing. I try to get them to perform at the, at, at the national, the world's highest level. Uh, so when I expect my kids to train, uh, I feel it's my obligation to come to these kind of things and to gain as much uh, knowledge as I can and pass it on to those kids that I work with. Now, you've uh, been active with USA Wrestling for a long time. Talk about uh, the kind of things that you get at this clinic specifically, national coaches, some other peers that are really successful, uh, some of the things that uh, might be able to be brought back for your club or for your team back home. Um, well, a few things I, I get to uh, meet and talk to you, uh, some of the nation's highest level coaches, uh, Olympic level, uh, junior world team level coaches, uh, other state organizations. I get to, um, uh, to meet these uh, other coaches all across the country and kind of network with them, see what they're doing, where they're going, and um, I, I pick their brains. I try to get knowledge from each and every individual that I talk to um, so, to help me make my program and my kids and, and my state better. Now, have you been to one of these before, or is this the uh, first time? Uh, this is my second. Uh, I went to the Silver Coaches College in Iowa City uh, this year, uh, uh, right before the Olympic trials, and that was an another three-day class. Uh, I couldn't. I uh, at that point, I I said I don't know how they could have made a, a coach's education program any better with uh, the level of technique, the classroom situation, the people that were teaching me, like Brands and, and, and uh, uh, Zeke Jones and Ike Anderson, and uh, the names go on and on and on. I, I was just flabbergasted that they could get that many people at that level in to work with 30, 40 guys. So um, what other things are you looking forward to at the Olympic Training Center? I mean, this is kind of the center of the Olympic movement. Uh, are you challenging your athletes to have high goals. Uh, do, you, do you enjoy just being around the atmosphere of this place? Uh, the, the buildings are uh, amazing. It was, it was great. To, um, I, I was here in uh, 2008 or 2009 for a FELA national tournament and really the only building I came into uh, was the wrestling building. Uh, so I got to see this building itself but I got to do the tour. Uh, I got to see the whole facility. Uh, now I'm staying at the uh, staying in the dorms uh, with the rest of the coaches and uh, the, the cafeteria is amazing the food is absolutely great <laughs> I can't believe these uh, you know I, I assume that the athletes eat at eight very well but I didn't know the food would be gonna be this good so uh, you're filling up your notebook and you're gonna be able to go back and and challenge your athletes and people in your state to get better? Yeah, and, and just uh, the small things, the, th the things uh, internationally that other people are doing, uh, I like to take that and, and incorporate in, into all aspects of the wrestling with, with uh, my, my boys' youth club, my girls' team, my, my, my girls that are competing internationally, uh, you know, even the college girls that I work with. I, uh, I was very surprised after going to the Silver Coaches College uh, that I got some videos after uh, participating in that college and I um, I felt that I, I learned a lot but the videos helped me more than anything I thought uh, I, I'd spend night after night watching the videos and I every time I watched them I picked up a little bit more and a little bit more and then when I when I went to do some um, some clinics with the, uh, my girls program I had some college level girls come in and work with us and work with the kids and when I was showing leg laces after watching that video over and over and over again even the college girls after being three years in college said I've never seen that before in my life and they, they enjoyed learning some of the stuff that I learned and now I get to pass it on to those children so oh, outstanding I'm sure this is a good time too just a chance to get out and get saturated with wrestling for a few days right, right? and you know gets me away from work and, and uh, it gets me around and I'm just pumped for the wrestling season I can't wait and uh, we're gonna do good things this year outstanding thanks coach